113 Questions About Evolution with John Perry. Evolutionary question number seven. Why do dogs pee on stuff? If you have ever taken a dog out for a walk, you probably notice that when they are urinating, they're not just relieving themselves. They've got some special project going on. They're very careful about where they go and they don't go all at once. They go in little bits all over the place. You probably heard that what they're doing is they are marking their territory and that's sort of true, but there's actually a lot more to what's going on. Dogs use molecules in their urine as symbols to communicate, just like we use words as symbols to communicate. When a dog is sniffing a fire hydrant, that's the equivalent of you checking your Twitter feed. Believe it or not, there is a group of scientists called signaling theorists that are really interested in what dogs are doing when they're urinating. It turns out that anything can be used as a symbol in a communication system. Plants use colors that they display in their flowers to communicate to bees, hey, I've got pollen, I've got nectar, come pollinate me. Birds will use songs, which is fairly similar to us using words, but they will also flash feathers to communicate things to each other. And even bacteria communicate with one another. They use molecules. They excrete molecules from their bodies to coordinate behaviors with their fellow bacteria. No matter how weird a communication system might be, as soon as scientists find out that one exists, they like to study it. They like to try to crack the code of that communication system. They want to know what all of the symbols mean. In 1971, there was a really interesting study done on the golden jackal attempting to figure out what it is that they're communicating with each other through urine. Jackals are a semi-monogamous species. Uh, when they're raising pups, the male and the female will, will do so cooperatively. They, they do it together and they'll stay with each other and they'll be faithful to each other while those children are being raised. If it was a big success, they'll actually stay with each other for multiple litters and sometimes even their entire lives. If they're not so successful, then they'll find other mates. But jackals are very picky about who they choose for a mate because once they choose a mate, they're kind of stuck with them for a while. You know, they're going to put a lot of energy, a lot of effort into raising those pups. So you better, better choose a good, healthy, strong mate that's going to help you provide for those children. Researchers found that in order to choose a mate... Jackals do what I think is probably the most hilarious mating ritual I have ever discovered. What happens is that when the female is ready to mate, when she's mature and she's going into heat, she will go around and start marking areas all over the place. She'll just start urinating everywhere. And there is a molecule in her urine that the males understand as a symbol saying that, whoa, we have a female in the area and she is ready to mate. I'm going to go find her. And when the male uh, encounters the female, he's fairly cautious. She will urinate in front of him. And then she'll back away. He'll come up. He'll investigate. He'll smell it. And if he's interested, he'll urinate on top of it. And they'll do this back and forth several times, gleaning all sorts of information about each other's health. And if all goes well, if they like the smell of each other's pee, they will form a bond and they will mate and they will raise puppies together. Now, that, I think, is fascinating enough in and of itself, but it gets better. <laughs> I'm going to read to you. I think this is so funny, just the way that it was written. When the female jackal comes into estrus, when she goes into heat, the male with whom she is pair bonded follows her and vigorously marks each spot upon which she has urinated. In fact, his behavior is so vigorous that he sometimes urinates simultaneously with her. The reason that the male is doing this, and they're extremely vigilant about it, I mean, every time the female urinates, they're right there to urinate on top of, to, to mark on top of her, her spot. The reason they're doing this is to communicate to all the other males in the area that, yeah, my lady, she might be in heat, but guess what, buddies? She's taken. A few years back, one of my roommates had a pair of dogs that were bonded together, and the male would do this with the female, and it was hilarious because he was so vigorous about it, so eager to mark where she marks, that he would actually, he wouldn't wait for her to finish. He'd actually pee on her leg a lot of times, and she'd get really angry at him. It was really funny to watch. But if you think about this, this is the equivalent of, you know, when, when we fall in love and get married, we you know, buy a wedding ring for our partner. It's kind of a way to mark our territory. So anyway, I thought this was funny. The way that dogs, um, you know, profess their love for one another is by peeing on each other's pee.
Next question.